Down through the years, many U.S. presidents enjoyed playing golf and Dwight D. Eisenhower even went as far as bringing it to the White House lawn. He is thought to have played at least 800 rounds, making him America's all-time golfer-in-chief. Fast forward to the present day and President Trump has come under consistent scrutiny for the amount of time he has spent out on the golf course. It was nearly inevitable that he was in the middle of a round at the Trump National Golf Club in Virginia on Sunday when media networks called the 2020 election for Joe Biden. So just how many rounds of golf has Trump played since he took office and does he come anywhere close to the immortal Eisenhower? According to data maintained by the website TrumpGolfCount.com, the 45th U.S. president has clocked up 285 daytime visits to golf clubs since his inauguration, with evidence of golf being played on at least 142 occasions up to November 8, 2020. Even though that comes nowhere near Eisenhower's tally, though having a course at the White House was more convenient than jetting down to Mar-a-Lago, it is higher than Obama's 105 rounds during the same time period. When a president decides to take a golfing trip, it is a pretty expensive undertaking with transport on Air Force One, Secret Service protection and accommodation all quickly adding up. While Eisenhower could step outside the office for a round, TrumpGolfCount.com estimates that Trump's golfing trips have cost American taxpayers $142 million so far. That total includes $59 million worth of trips to Mar-a-Lago on Air Force One, along with a long list of other items such as bills for Coast Guard security at the Florida property. The creators of the website have stated that they are tracking Trump's golf count in the wake of a promise he made back in August 2016 when he said, I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf. Asterisk click below to enlarge charted by Statista.